Hey guys, how's it going? In today's episode, I'll be showing you some more turn locations. Just want to make a quick clarification. In the last video, I said to be four more maps in this one. There's actually five. A small mistake on my part. And with most of these spots, you can get up there with a Bastion. Or even get a Reinhardt up there. So you gotta be careful of how big the jump is, and if you can make it or not. Alright, starting out in Route 66, we have a spot commonly used by Widowmakers. It's a decent spot for covering the first area. So next we have all three containers here, or train cars. This one right here I recommend the most, as it doesn't have a clear line of sights for a Widowmaker. So this one here was probably your riskiest bit, unless you have a Reinhardt up there to protect it. Now once they've taken the first location, and you can tell they're going to take the second one, you can put a turn up here to shoot them in the back as they're entering the final location for the payload. So next... Once they've taken that location, and you're now onto the final one, there's many shelves in this room you can use. And a few ledges that are over top of doorways, like seen here. The only way for them to take out a Reinhardt Torbjorn combo, or even Bastion, would be to use a Pharah and shoot the back wall behind them. So this spot uh, right over here is the only one in this room that requires two May ice walls. You can of course just use the first platform, or use the second one, which is blocked by a pillar in the middle of the room. So the line of sight is not the greatest out of all these spots. It'd be more of a surprise than anything else for the enemy team. So here's the last shelf in here. I'm sure I missed some, but there's just so many of them that are very similar. So next we have the County Jail in Hollywood. Now this one is a really good spot because you have covered a high pine to repair the turn. The second one here is, once you've lost uh, the western theme set, you fall back to the space theme set, and there's a meteor you can climb up on with the help of the May. Now, this one here does cover all three entrances, but... If you get rushed, there's a chance it goes down pretty easily. And now we're on Dorado. Dorado only has one location, but there's three different spots at this location with, you know, different amount of ice walls. So here is the first spot, which requires the one ice wall. The second one is the building across from it which is two ice walls in, and then the third rooftop, which is the best, but is the riskiest to get to, and, and of course the most time consuming. Now we're at Volskaya Industries. It has a few locations. I wouldn't necessarily call these great ones, maybe the last one is pretty decent, but these ones I wouldn't recommend. It'll probably just be a quick death off the start of the map if you stay with these turns. So this one's alright for putting a turn down and then just leave it there to do a little bit of damage. I'd fall back to another location though and get ready for put up a new turn. 
So this is the one I would recommend using, just because it's in a very good location. It covers most of the entrances, and you have a wall to hide behind to repair it with. Now we're at Hanumaru. Uh, this one's at some very interesting spots. Uh, this first one here is the best one for the first control point. Now if you're going to do it this way, I would recommend two torbjorns, because then you can put one on each side of the building. So plus you have the decent cover to hide behind. So next, you can put one up at the top of this gate, or just one right there on that platform. The one at the gate can shoot all the way towards their spawn, but can also be taken out really easily by a Widowmaker. Plus, when we were trying this location out, we found there to be some difficulties with turret placement at the very top. So you have to angle it just right to get it to work. So this is by far my favorite location on this map. It's the second control point right near spawn for defenders. It's also a really good spot for a Widowmaker too. As you can see, if you put the turret at the very corner, it can shoot all the way to the front entrance. And the second location here is up on top above the banner. It can shoot at the front entrance, but there's a very clear line of sight towards the turret, so a sniper could get it fairly easily. And you can see here the clear line of sights that a Widowmaker has at taking out the turret from behind the rock. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I thank my friends Corvus and Truxo again for the help. And until next time, peace.